Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you the top 10 rarest items in Minecraft Dungeons. I actually had some pretty cool discoveries while composing this list, and I think that you guys will definitely enjoy. I do, of course, want to say that Every item in the game can be obtained from the two traders that we have in the main camp area, but I'm ranking these based on how hard they are to get just while you are playing through the missions and also they are the least likely for any player to get because they are so hard to get in game so even though they are obtainable through the blacksmith they are still much rarer than the rest of the items in the game and if you guys have any of these items please let me know down below i'd like to hear which rare items some of you have. So let's get into listing the 10 rarest items in the game, starting from the least rare item and making our way to the most rare item. At our number 10 and number nine spots, we have the Cursed Axe and the Whirlwind Axe. I'm making these equal to each other because they are both in the double axe weapon type category and they drop from the same locations, but that does not take away from how rare these items are. These double axes drop at Soggy Swamp or the secret Soggy Cave levels. These only drop on Apocalypse difficulty, meaning that to get these double axes, you will have had to beat the game twice already. I mean, only after then will you be able to get these items from two specific spots one of these spots being a secret level that a lot of players know about right now actually, Soggy Cave. And these double axes have been getting farmed a lot uh, alongside the fighter's bindings at Soggy Cave right now because there are some tricks and glitches also to make farming gear there extremely quick um, and that's why it has been much easier for players to get their hands on these weapons. So these two weapons definitely would have been a lot rarer right now if this soggy cave farming method or these techniques were not going around but um even with that that does not take away from how difficult it is to get these items and i think that they definitely deserve to be on this list next up we have the splendid robe which is the unique variant of the battle robe base armor and this drops at either creepy crypt or redstone mines on only apocalypse difficulty similar to the situation with the whirlwind and the cursed axes we are seeing some more splendid robes pop up in players hands because creepy crypt the secret level is actually a very easy and quick place to farm gear just because it has a lot of secrets where you can easily get golden chests and sometimes even obsidian chests if you get uh really lucky i uh, I have not gotten that lucky, but that doesn't take away from the fact that you can get obsidian chest there. And you are definitely going to see a lot of players find battle robes without any problems, really. Um, but finding the unique variant, the splendid robe, is really hard. And it's unique perk that differentiates it from the battle robe, which is the base version, is that it gives you a 50% bonus to artifact damage. Again, similar to the situation with the unique double axes, we are seeing this pop up a bit more because the creepy crypt is a great place to farm for gear. But again, that doesn't take away from the fact that you have to go through a lot to get this. You have to unlock a secret level, you have to be on apocalypse difficulty, um, and you could choose not to unlock a secret level, but that would make it more difficult to get the unique variation. Yes, we have another combination here. We have the Dark Katana and the Master's Katana, which only drop at one location guys they only drop at one location on the apocalypse difficulty they only drop at obsidian pinnacle which is the final level 
in the game. These are very, very rare. And when you use these, you you just, you just feel cool because you know that you killed the heart of Ender, um, which is a extremely hard boss. By the way, I made a video ranking all of the bosses from easiest to hardest. I think that these are rare. They aren't the strongest weapons, that's for sure. They have a slow attack speed. They don't make up for it with their damage, but they are the only weapon type that is only available at one location. Change of lighting, I know this is me editing right now. I just also wanted to say that the reason why these aren't higher up on the list is because a lot of people have begun to look for them because they are really cool, they're good looking, and uh, a lot of people are intrigued by this item, and so they're hunting for these katanas more so than the other unique items on this list. We have another double up, the Whispering Spear and the Fortune Spear. These are both spears, so they are the same weapon type, and they drop from Creeper Woods or Under Halls, which is the secret level that you can obtain from High Block Halls. And of course, they are only obtainable on the Apocalypse difficulty. The locations that this is available at do not get farmed nearly as heavily as the other locations do. And players are looking elsewhere. This is a hidden gem, you could say, a weapon type that really isn't used much at all and spears actually are not bad they have a pretty good range and these two weapons both have pretty nice traits on them i like echo i like looting if anybody if anybody's watched my melee weapon enchantments video you know that i like my looting enchantment um i think it's underrated okay listen it's a good enchantment all right next up we have an item that I think looks amazing. The Titan Shroud, and this is available at Fiery Forge or at the Underhalls on Apocalypse difficulty. This is the unique version of the Dark Armor. And I mean, come on guys, this thing not only is very rare and we have barely seen anybody in the community get this but also it looks incredible it looks amazing and i'm so sad that i haven't gotten it guys this is ridiculous looking at the fiery forge location there are a lot of armor pieces that drop there so not only does this only drop at one normal location and then one secret location, but the one normal location that this drops at has a very congested armor loot pool. And you are still going to get some of the basic dark armors. Where the hard part comes in is getting the unique version. It's, it's really difficult. I'd actually say that this is one of, if not my favorite looking armors in the game. Uh, I think it looks great. It has a high res to it, which I think that some of the armors in the game kind of lack. And it has a very nice, complete look to it. Next up is the hero's armor, which is the unique variation of the champion's armor. And this is only available at Cacti Canyon on Apocalypse difficulty. I mean, this only drops at one location on only Apocalypse difficulty at Cacti Canyon. Really, the only way that you're going to get this item is if you purposely go to Cacti Canyon and just farm for hours because you can't get this on default or adventure and you end up only playing Cacti Canyon once if you do well on apocalypse mode and then you just progress on to the next level so really there will be a lot of luck involved if you get this in on the one time that you play Cacti Canyon on apocalypse difficulty but otherwise you're gonna have to go there and farm and farm and farm and farm until this drops which may take a long time because it is a unique variant at number one we have an incredibly rare rare piece of armor um and thank you to all of you who you know have watched this point it means a lot thank you so much for watching my videos guys um 
but we have the Curious Armor, which is the unique version of the Guard's Armor that is available at the High Block Halls, and it only drops on Apocalypse difficulty. Now, the interesting thing about this armor is that no one has shared anything about it. There's only one source where you can find any info on it. If you try to search up anything about it online, you're not going to be able to find any videos, any articles, any blogs, any whatever it may be. You're not going to be able to find anything about this armor other than the one blog on the Minecraft Dungeons Wiki. And yes, wikis are not always accurate, of course, but this is a pretty credible wiki that always takes images directly from the Minecraft Dungeons files themselves and posts them. And it appears that they did that with this. This is the unique version of the guard's armor that has an official image in the Minecraft Dungeons files. Every single basic armor has a unique variation to it, excluding the mystery armor, which is its own armor type. And if Minecraft Dungeons were to give it a unique variant, it would be crazy strong. We don't have any images suggesting that there, you know, would be or any fake images. But with the guard's armor, we do have the image of the curious armor and it makes sense for the guard's armor to have a unique variant. I want to ask all of you, is there someone out there that has gotten this armor because I think we need to make an effort to discover whether or not this is an item that we can get in the game right now. And if you have this piece of armor, please do share it. And I know that there are going to be a lot of people that are going to pretend that they have this piece of armor when they don't. I know there are going to be so many people doing that. But here's the thing, proof always speaks louder than words or action speaks louder than words. So if we can get some videos up on this piece of armor, that would be amazing. And that would prove once and for all that this armor does exist. If we can't get any content on this piece of armor at all, then maybe it's just not something that we can get right now. Maybe it's something that either A is accidentally not gettable by players b we can get in the near future or c is completely made up which again i don't think would make sense every base armor with base traits has a unique variant so i really really think that this is real and i would love to hear all of your opinions on this matter i think it's something that i haven't seen talked about anywhere and I would definitely love to talk about it with all of you. Anyways, that does it for this little fun video. I had a lot of fun exploring the rarest items in the game, and I hope that you had some fun looking at all of them while I was showing them. And, and we can definitely discuss more about these topics in the comments below. So make sure to comment whatever you are thinking and also leave a like, subscribe. It really helps out, especially if you are returning to watch another video of mine. Also check out my other videos. I've made a lot of ranking type videos. So if you did enjoy this one, you will probably enjoy those. But other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Peace out.